The Little Mekong Night Market is a street festival and it's just a celebration of Southeast Asian culture. Night markets are very popular in Southeast Asia and throughout most parts of Asia. Our little version is modeled after a Southeast Asian night market. In Southeast Asia, these night markets are a significant part of the culture there. It's where people go to socialize, eat, buy, and it's also where there's a lot of creativity. I mean, you'll see sort of the most creative things at the night market. We decided to organize the Little Mekong Night Market, number one, to benefit the neighborhood that we're in right now, which is Frogtown Rondo and to support the small businesses along University Avenue we call Little Mekong. Our night market mirrors the neighborhood that we're in and that's very intentional. 33% Asian, 30% African American, uh, I think 20% Caucasian and then we have a growing Hispanic community as well. So as you walk up and down you see vendors representing all those communities. We have people all across the Twin Cities visiting us. Many of them are from Asian American communities but as you can see, it goes beyond just the Asian American community. Up and down the street on University, it's, it's a lot of first generation Asian restaurants. For me, I'm second generation. So first generation, you know, they're getting older now. And, and like to me, with this kind of night market, hopefully it'll bring out second generation to want to continue doing this kind of stuff. It gives us an opportunity to not um, just participate because it's a night market, but also to educate people who come here and tell them a little bit about why these art forms matter and that actually there's a lot of gifted people here in the Twin Cities who have these skills too. We specialize in Southeast Asian food. It's like fusion food, right? Asian food with a Western twist. We got Lao sausage with paper leaves, lemongrass. So basically we grill it, we chop it up, and then we put like a mango corn sauce on top. Our other product is pretty popular, so basically we uh, braise pork belly for like five hours where we get the uh, pork belly rolled tender and nice and we stuff it in with the, the Chinese vowels. We are a small social enterprise company that works with women and girl artisans from Southeast Asia, primarily Laos, Thailand and Vietnam, really helping to co-create products with women and girls from predominantly rural villages so that they can make a living with handicraft skills. For example, the bracelets behind me are products that we co-created with a young woman from San Juan province, where many Hmong Americans actually come from. We have jewelry that's made by a couple of women artisan uh, silversmiths in Thailand. They're used to creating it for themselves, but for this market, we can think about what would we wear here in America. So you can see the simpler pieces that are really meant to appeal to uh, buyers here. It's a great outing, so that's why we continue to do it. And then also it's growing, it's getting bigger and bigger. So it's like, it's real neat seeing different faces and different people from like all over come here. It's not just St. Paul people, you know, it's, it's people from all over the city that's coming. Little Mekong district and like Frogtown. I think we're kind of like a hidden gem. So like people that come here, like I think they gonna appreciate it. Oftentimes, our local emerging artists don't get the respect that they should get and so we want to show them that we respect them and we value them and they're a significant contributor to the economic well-being of our neighborhood, that there is a pool of talent that we want to um, make people aware of. So every artist who comes to our night market, we, we pay them. In terms of our creative placemaking, artists are important. We also have resources to support them if they want to become entrepreneurs, transform their creativity, their artwork into a, a business. So a number of vendors actually who, who's been with us for the last three years at the night market are now becoming business owners. Working with artists is not just them coming and performing and entertaining everybody, but looking at the long term, how do we work with artists so that they could uh, contribute significantly to the, the local economy and they becoming entrepreneurs themselves. And I think a lot of people, yes, are attracted to the food, but they also come because it's an opportunity to learn through the art and the culture. We want people to connect to this neighborhood, this place, the people who are here, the businesses, and through art and working with artists, people get a real, I think, authentic connection to this community and that's really important to us.